All right, we're going to take a look at the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator Creative Cloud. And what we're going to do is recreate this shape on the page using the pen tool. But before we do that, we're going to take a look at uh, what the pen tool is and what it is not. And so what I'm going to do is first off select the pen tool, which can be found over here in the tools pane. We'll just go ahead and select that. Now, what the pen tool does is it allows you to specify anchor points on the canvas, which can then be or will be connected to each other. So if I go ahead and just click here and here and here and here, I, the, my last click was on the original anchor point, I created a triangle. Now this triangle was automatically filled with purple because I had that color selected for the fill, but we can go ahead and unfill that so you can just see the basic outline of this uh, shape. Now what the pen tool allows you to do is define shapes using the anchor points and you can, once you have the shape, uh, the basics of the shape configured, you can go in and select each anchor point for example, I can select this bottom one and I can bring, I can make it a smooth point. And what I can do here is I can then adjust the handles to give the, the shape a different look. Now if I grab this handle and move it, you'll notice that this side over here adjusts as well. And that is actually one of the advantages of the pen tools. You can adjust one side and, and um, play around with it and give it um, make some adjustments and have it automatically adjust over here. You can also only adjust one edge of of the shape that you have by holding down the Alt or Option key, selecting the handle and then moving it. Now what that does is it actually converts this anchor point back to a corner, but it allows you to make this edge smooth instead of continuing to have it straight. And so I can I can adjust that and then I can also take this one. If I don't even, if I don't want it, if I want it to be completely straight, I can drag this handle into the anchor point and release and now there's only one anchor point. And so I have a triangle that basically looks like a slice of pizza. You've got two straight edges and one rounded edge. So that is the basics of the pen tool. You'll notice that you don't just click and drag to draw. It's not the pencil tool or a paintbrush. You're creating shapes with the pen tool and then fine-tuning those shapes after you have the anchor tool, the, the anchor points in place. So we're going to um, delete that and I want to show you one more thing with the uh, with the uh, pen tool before we move on. Make sure that's deleted. I'm going to grab the the uh, pen tool. I'm going to just click on the first uh, anchor. I'm just going to click once to make the initial anchor point. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to hold the shift key down to constrain my path to be horizontal. And then I'm going to click and drag down. Now what that does is that converts the second anchor point to a uh, to a curved anchor point and it gives you those handles right away. And then I can go ahead and um, connect the, uh, I can close the path by selecting the original anchor point. And the advantage to that is you get the handles right away. Some people don't like that, it messes, it messes them up a little bit. Um, but it really is to play, you want to play with that. So what can we do with the pen tool from here? All right. Let's take a look at our Chinese star. I'm going to go ahead and delete the, these, uh, this path here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this Chinese star. Let's say you find an, an object online that you really like and you want to convert it to, a, to an EPS file from a JPEG or a ping or you want to, you want to convert it to a .ai file. Uh, something, some sort of vector graphic that you can use in Adobe Illustrator. So what I did is I went and I found this uh, image, uh, for a clip art image. You'll notice that it is uh, a little pixelated because it is a J JPEG uh, image. 
but I want to recreate it using the pen tool. So what I'm going to do is, you'll notice that I've got the layer that the, that the picture is on, I've got that layer locked, and I'm using a different layer to draw on. And what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to go ahead and double click that layer, and I'm going to make it red, just to make it pop off the page a little more. So, we're going to go ahead and select the pen tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm only going to select, let me try it again, I'm only going to select the corners of this path. Each corner I'm adding an anchor point to. And I'm not worrying about any of the curved pieces of the path. And by the time I'm done, I'll have eight anchor points. And then I'm going to close the path by selecting that first anchor point. So now you'll see that I have my anchor points here. And if I, if I want to fine tune them, I can grab each of these anchor points and just adjust them to get them right where I want them. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And let's say I want to move that one in right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab each one of these inside anchor points, not the ones that are on the very tip of the, of the blades, but the ones right there. And I'm going to convert all of those at once to a smooth anchor point. Now you'll notice that I have two handles, and I can adjust this as needed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this handle that runs along the straight path, I'm going to bring that into the anchor point to lose that handle because we don't need it. And I'll just do that really quickly on each of the anchor points. And I'll come up here and do that on this one. Perfect. Now, what I can do, reselect each of those anchor points and just drag it in till I think I've got that uh, path correct on the outside of that Chinese star eh, or throwing star or whatever you want to call it and just about done grab that that one maybe bring that one in just a hair and I could be really picky and do I do have a couple methods to make this pretty much exact all the way around, but for the sake of time, we're not going to do that. And then, of course, we want to add a circle. I grab the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt to make a perfect circle and come out in the middle. And I'm going to select everything. So I've got both objects selected. I'm going to select one of the objects so that it is the key object because I'm going to align these objects to each other so that they're perfectly centered. I'm going to lose that original uh, that, that original layer that we had here and make this path red. I'm going to grab that circle in the middle and just give it a white fill and now I've got a Chinese throwing star, a vector graphic. I can go ahead and group those together so that I can make this any size I want. And we're good to go. So that is just a really brief, basic overview of how to use the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator Creative Cloud. Thanks for watching.